Well guys, uh, I've had a few questions and comments about the uh, my VHF UHF crossband repeater that I built I don't know, about a year or so ago now I suppose and spilt, spent a few months building this thing, especially coming up with this conglomeration here <laughs> it, uh, it took a lot of effort on my part to figure out how to get these two radios to talk to each other but also allowing um, the uh, legal aspects of a crossband repeater to operate the way it should um, every 10 minutes the radio has or I should say the system is supposed to ID that's the purpose of the timer circuit and the audio board um, the unit was also supposed to uh, be able to be controlled by DTMF to disable the system, turn off the radio, disable the link, yada yada yada. And the DTMF controlling is controlled by the DTMF control board, right here, and a receiver, in this case just an old Bearcat scanner. Just switches tuned to 146 500. So basically, what happens is what would normally do is you'd key up a DTMF capable radio, such as this critter. Yep. So you go on 146 500. Of course, you would identify yourself and you would enter the correct DTMF sequence to control the crossband repeater. I can turn off the repeater, I can, the way it's set up, I can uh, make the repeater one way. I can either make the system work from UHF to VHF, I can make the system work from VHF to UHF, and I can make the system work um, either way, bi-directional. So I can go directional or bi-directional. Bi-directional means you can transmit on VHF, go off on UHF, so I'm going to transmit on UHF and go out on VHF. It's bi-directional. So normally how to read this thing is set up is bi-directional. And by entering the right DTMF sequence on the keypad, I can either make the thing uh, uh, one direction repeater. Directional, which means either she'll receive on VHF and make the UHF transmit, or she receives on UHF, which makes VHF transmit. So that's just the way she's set up. Uh, I got two fans on it. Uh, the fans are controlled by DTMF. I just wanted to use the outputs I can use. Because basically I got two relays that does really anything at all. <laughs> Disables the link, which is you know, supposed to do. The fans, I got them on the two relays. It's just two more outputs. I can use these two relays on something else if I wanted to. Such as if I had a computer, a laptop or desktop, and I was running like, um, for argument's sake, I had an Echolink um, node running on these systems. I can send a DTMS sequence to uh, turn on the relay, thus either turning on or off the computer. So, <laughs> there's a lot of little, uh, little things you can do with the... Uh, DTMF controller, but uh, yeah, it's it was an interesting build. Uh, I built it like a year and a half ago, and I haven't even as much as even had it on the ear as such. I just wanted to build it to say yes, I could. I actually built the thing, 
and I've had a lot, and I mean a lot of comments and people asking me for the, for the schematic for this controller. This thing, I tell you, is completely out of my imagination. <laughs> um, I've got that many people interested in this controller that I'm almost tempted to uh, to build these and possibly sell them to amateur radio operators. This, I'm almost tempted to do that. I really am. Um, I don't know if there'd be a market out there for it or not. I have no idea. But it takes a lot of ins and outs on plugs and connectors and wiring and trying to figure out what what circuit that goes to what, what con circuit controls what radio. And there's lots of ins and outs and ups and downs. <laughs> Try to figure out a schematic for this thing. Yeah, could take a while. <laughs> But uh, basically, it's all controlled, remotely controlled, by just a scanner. And it just takes the audio and comes in through this jack right here. And it directly goes into the DTMF controller here. So depending on how I got it set up on the DTMF commands, it can turn off these relays. Uh, there's DTMF boards out there that you can get. They got eight relays. I got four. You didn't get them eight. You can get probably even sixteen relays. It can be controlled by DTMF. So it's a uh, quite a little versatile little board. You can control AC voltages or DC with the with the relays. But uh, personally, I think I'd just go with the DC myself. And of course, we've got uh, a board here for audio, and another board here for switching, PT switching audio. Uh, of course, we got the audio uh, that's the ID board so when this timer goes off it trips the relay the relay um, turns on this board the audio comes from the speaker here from the speaker output and it goes directly into the um, audio path thus going to the mic ports on both radios so when this thing actually IDs um, when it's a bi-directional system the uh, controller will actually make both radios transmit simultaneously and the ID will be sent on both bands simultaneously every 10 minutes. Uh, of course if the radio is only one direction then it will only transmit to one side or the other depending which which direction I got the system running. <laughs> so yeah and of course I got a few voltage regulators running on keeping everything nice and happy like but uh, it was an interesting build and I guess it's uh, it's it's time to actually put this thing on the ear permanently I've, I've got a VHF antenna and a UHF antenna um, I just got to I guess get them installed and hook this thing up permanently I don't know if there's any use locally for this if anybody be interested in using it I have no idea but uh, it was an interesting build, and I had to say I learned a lot from this, from this little build. It's an interesting little project, and I have to say I'm quite happy that I built it. Um, it's a crossband repeater, and the great thing about this system, even though it's a VHF and a UHF radio, technically. I can put either two UHF radios here or two VHF radios here and make a repeater out of this thing and still be 100% legal. <sighs> so, it just so happened I got a VHF and a UHF for a crossband. Or I can swap out the UHF and put a VHF in there, in which case I'd have a, uh, a, a VHF duplex repeater. An actual repeater for VHF. Or I put two UHF mobiles here and do a UHF repeater. So yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. And if I want to go with a VHF repeater, I've already got a duplexer that uh, was donated to me. Which I, again, I had to thank uh, Ken for donating that to me. I've yet to actually uh, use it, although I still have it hiding away under there. But, uh, yeah, 
Anyways, just wanted to give you a little update on the crossband repeater. I'll just turn around here. Some power. Radios powers up. Turn on the controller. And now she's counting down. 500 seconds, 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, she'll key up to the radios. And then she got five seconds to spit her ID out. So, so no matter if anybody's transmitting on this system or not, every 10 minutes this thing will ID regardless who's transmitting. So, I'm just going to put the camera down and I'll show you just a little demo on uh, how this thing operates. Basically, we have four relays. Uh, we got an LED turned on there now. That's power. And then there's four other LEDs. As I do a DTMF sequence here, one LED will turn on at a time, thus turning on each relay. And I'll just do you an example. First two will turn off the fans one at a time, and the other two will actually disable the both links. The ONMDS testing. One disabled. Both links disabled. One fan turned off. And there we go. The system is now 100% disabled. And that's done by DTMF command by the radio. And then I can turn the system back on. VOMDS testing. And here we go. Now it's all working. And if I wanted to, uh, if, it, if I wasn't 100% sure how the relays were set up, if I forgot, it's just simply turn off the controller. Turn it back on and the whole system is reset back to normal. So I hope that that helped some of you understand how this thing works. I even got a, uh, a Kenwood, an original Kenwood DTMF microphone. So if I wanted to, I could have a yarn, put the microphone in, have a chat if I wanted to. <laughs> so that's the purpose of the microphone. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if there's anything else I could possibly help you out with, with this system, let me know. Anyways, all the best, and take care, because of course, we care. And as the whole story goes, what did you build out of your jump box today? <laughs>